our celebration of hope and joy is about to begin. To celebrate who we are as a community, please make sure you take your seats and keep your mobile phone on silent throughout the whole event. Thank you for joining us this evening. Enjoy.
Open Joy, as we know, is a magical annual celebration that embraces our diverse and vibrant community. Every year, we are given this moment to celebrate who we are and to look back at the year that has now gone by with a heart full of gratitude, kindness and togetherness. Dreaming, excited with the vision of what's yet to come. But it hasn't always been like this. In fact, it hasn't always been hope and joy. Before, we would celebrate our festival of lessons and carols, the carol service, and it wasn't until 2017 that hope and joy became what you know today. With every year, our community grew stronger and our pavilion felt warmer. It just felt right to host this family gathering here at home. Home, we did spend far too long at home and too far from here. 2020 brought us an empty pavilion where, even from afar, we felt the echoing sound of We Are One. In 2021, it felt cozy and different, and every year you made it feel right. It's been a while, it's been enough. It's time to live in the present and to experience everything the world has to offer. Tonight, we celebrate you. We celebrate the return of what shouldn't have gone. Share your love for your community and embrace the moment, thrilled by the challenge we know will face and surpass, guided by a strong feeling of hope and the intense glow of joy. Tonight, rise to the stars, for the sky is not the limit. much Miss Morgan for introducing us in that lovely video. Um, I'm Gabriella Vienna and I'll be hosting your Hope and Joy this year along with my dashing co-host. Hello everyone, I'm Nunu. It's a pleasure to be here in this evening with all of you and it's been a long time since we were all here together to celebrate Hope and Joy, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Last time we had an in-person Hope and Joy, it was 2019. And just by looking at all of you, we can see how much we've grown and adapted over the recent years. I mean, you're actually all sitting on chairs. Yeah, I can see a lot through the lights, but I remember in 2017, our first Open Joy here, we didn't even have chairs, we were sitting down on the floor. It was rough. Well, we can't really see you very well, so we may need a little bit of help since there's so many of you. So, can Lower School make some noise, please? Middle school, middle school, what about you? Okay, upper school. And of course, we don't forget about the parents. Parents, can you make some noise as well? Gabby, there are a lot of people, as we've seen, um, but why, it's a regular Thursday evening, why are so many people gathered here? It's not a regular Thursday evening. This is hope and joy, a celebration where we're actually able to celebrate our community, something which is very important in CLIP, as while it grows stronger, we grow stronger. Of course, and this year's hope and joy theme is stars because as we know this past year has been rough on all of us so I believe everyone has a star in mind that they'd like to congratulate and this Open Joy is the opportunity to think who your star is and really congratulate them when you get home or even when you see them. No, no. Did you know something? What, Gabby? I'm magical. How's that? See that tree over there? Yes, I do. 
I'm going to do some magic on the count of three. One, two, three. I mean, I personally didn't find that impressive. Do you find that impressive? You did. They liked it. You don't always have to be such a Grinch. I'm not a Grinch. I just find it, it's a tree with light. Okay, so what better way to raise our spirits than lower school and their performance?
Congratulations, Lower School. That was amazing. That was adorable. That was adorable, I have to say. And while uh, you were practicing today earlier, uh, I can see her really, but I also want to make it very clear here that I have um, a lot um, to say about Miss Rowland. I don't know if she's here today, but Miss Rowland, if you are, if she's not, if you're watching it at home at least, uh, just know that I was watching you today uh, helping the lower school and that you were amazing and I have a lot of memories with you from lower school. So a big, big round of applause also for the lower school as, as a whole. So even though it's really great to have you all here, there are some aspects of live streaming that I've really missed, like comments and the photos everyone would send. But Gabby, we are actually live to the people at home. We are? Yes, we are. So everyone at home, we encourage you to do comments on the live stream so that we can react uh, to them here. And also, there should be appearing a QR code uh, right on your screen where you can send pictures to that QR code and we will show them here as we read out the comments as well. And you can comment down below who your star is. <laughs> but for our in-person audience, we do have a new element, the Chris Cam. Chris Cam. Chris Cam, Christmas Kiss Cam, which allows us to interact with you even more. However, we do not want to see any of you kissing. Looking at you, parents. Okay, let's see who we get. Come on, Irene and Pedro, let's see. <laughs> well, if it isn't our head boy and head girl, Sada and Vashko. <laughs> I see that Sada really wants to come up, so with no more introductions, come on up, let's have an interview, we want to talk to you. Hi. Hello, you're excited. Very. So, um, we know that you are head boy and head girl, obviously we know a bit of what that work in, uh, is entitled to do. However, can you be, uh, give us a little bit more intake on how it works, what you need to do, how both of you work together? Shall I start? Sure. Right, so the work of the head boy and head girl is mainly communication. Uh, the purpose of this job is to be the liaison, the link between the students and the teachers, and to make sure uh, that CLIP is a great environment, not only in terms of being productive, in terms of learning, but also uh, being a safe, warm environment that is beneficial to the mental health of the students where, where everyone can feel, can feel at home. And so this is mainly our main job, balancing the, the needs of the students also and uh, trying to communicate and negotiate with uh, the direction. Also besides that, uh, I think that Vasco and I make a very good team. And our prefect body this year, I think it's an excellent team and I think we are doing a very good job. <laughs> That's great. I think we all know that Form 12 is probably one of the most important years in CLIT. So, what's it like juggling responsibilities and university applications? Well, the best word really to describe Form 12 is hectic. So, at the same time where you're supposed to be finalizing your decisions about what you want to study and, in a way, what you want to do with your life, at the same time you have to be studying for the exams that will, at least to some extent, determine how well you do. You have to be choosing where you want to study, what you want to study, uh, it's just so many important decisions, important responsibilities, uh, and it might feel a bit overwhelming at times, but uh, this is also a very fun year, uh, and I've definitely enjoyed myself this year. Haven't you, Sarah? Yes, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what advice would you give us coming into Form 12 next year? Well, I'm going to give you the advice I took. Um, I think you should enjoy everything CLIP has to give enjoy even the little things, appreciate your teachers because they're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yes, that's it. <laughs> but, <laughs> but don't worry if you get bad grades or don't succeed because it doesn't matter how many times you fail, it just matters how many times you get up and you succeed and then eventually we'll get good grades. Amazing. <laughs> so
so as we know, this past years have been rough for all of us, of course. Uh, what gives you the strength to be here today where you are? Uh, what helped you overcome it all? Right, so the thing about CLIP and the reason I love this community so much is that uh, growing up here and being educated here, uh, I felt like I was being given the power so that one day I could move on and really contribute to society to uh, have some positive impact and make the world a better place. And so the notion that uh, that ideal is everything I'm studying and working towards really gives me the strength to, to move on. What motivated me is to have a balance. So the time is where you need to study, you stay focused and study, but of course you need to have fun and go out with your friends. <laughs> but that's what motivated me the most. However, last year I had the opportunity to take place to um, an expedition, biology expedition in Mexico. That's what motivated me the most last year. It will push me in my <laughs> worst days. <laughs> Uh, yes, and the trip was amazing. <laughs> so, the question that all of us are going to be hearing a lot tonight is, who is your star? My star is my girlfriend, Maria Leal. She's an extremely driven... <laughs> She's an extremely... She's an extremely driven, hardworking, and passionate student, and uh, I try to be like her every day. <laughs> I think this deserves another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Well, for me, I couldn't choose between two people. The first one is my sister. She is my number one. She. Even if no one believes in me, she's the only person that believes in me. She's my number one in anything. She will support me no matter what. However, my second choice, uh, first off, I want to say this before I say that person's name. Um, behind every student that believes in themselves, there is a teacher that believes in them first. And this teacher is Mrs. Haki Loroiro. <laughs> Besides Miss Florai being an amazing and excellent teacher, she's an amazing person. She helps me with anything at any time. I just, I appreciate her so much. She deserves the world. Aww. Okay, so before you leave, I'm gonna ask you two to do a favor for me. So as you know, I'm magic, and I was hoping that you could help me light the Christmas tree again for Nuno. Of course. So on the count of three, we're going to wave our hands towards the tree, okay? Okay. One, two, three. I apologize for Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I thank you so much for being here and talking thank you to guys. us. You thank you guys. So thank you so much. Thank you. I have to be honest. I'm starting to like the tree. Of course you are. It's amazing. I can't wait for the star to be lit. Now, speaking of beautiful, this is a poem called Twas the Night Before Christmas. It's going to be lively drawn uh, for you, all of you uh, by Mr. Austin, and it's going to be narrated by Ms. Vasconcelos and Ms. Barreira. Big, big round of applause, please. Good, Good evening, evening, everybody. Twas the Night Before Christmas by Clement Clark Moore. 
Twas the, the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, now Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donna, and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all, as drive leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly, that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to, to his, his team gave a whistle, and away, away they all flew like, like the down of a thistle. thistle. But, but I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Thank, Thank you, you, Nick. Thank you, Josue. That was lovely, Ms. Vasconcelos and Ms. Barreira and Mr. Rawson, and of course, Mr. Freire for playing the piano as a background. Now, I was going to ask Gabby, do you have a favorite poem? In fact, no, no, I do. My favorite poem is one called I Love You Forever by Robert Munch, which basically highlights the importance of a, a parent-child bond and how no matter how old we get, we'll always need our mums and dads. That's true. and. Parents are extremely important, but I think the best way to know how parents are important is to talk to them. And there are the uh, Parents Teachers Association, so why don't we call them up, Carla Martins and Susana Mendonça, to have a talk with us.
Hello and welcome. As you know, um, CLIP is very important and the community in like a child, your child's de development. So how do you think CLIP supports your child to rise to the stars? Hi, it's very <laughs> nice being here with you. So I've been at CLIP for 14 years now and from my personal experience I would highlight two things. First of all, from the academic side, the fact that CLIPS follows the British curriculum, it's very good because it opens the doors for all the world. So whenever the students leave and they want to rise in the star, to the stars, they can do it either in Portugal or anywhere else in the world. Uh, from the non-academic side, I would highlight everything else that CLIP does and that supports your development as persons. So I would highlight learning through research. It's going to be so important for you when you are at the university. I would highlight Opamun, the fact that you are able to stand up for causes and speak in public the way you are doing <laughs> here. Uh, it's so important. So all the skills that CLIP promotes while you are here are so, so valuable, and I think you will only realize that once you leave. And of course, we, uh, we're going to... to no, I just wanted to say that you two are the clear example <laughs> of what's Thank been you said sure. right here. You're being perfect tonight. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> Thank you. But uh, we uh, invited you up here to talk about parents, of course. So how do you think parents uh, support their children to rise to the stars as well? Um, I think, first of all, the person that should know which is the star they, they want to rise to are the students. So it's your children that should choose the, the star that they want to aim for. So we, first of all, I would say we need to listen to their voices and then to support them in whichever way or pathway they want to follow. I think that that would be, that's what I try to do uh, and I think that's the best way of supporting your children because at the end of the day, we want you to be the happiest you can in life. <laughs> While you're here, are there any wishes or messages that you'd like to send to our community? Yeah, um, as, as we all know, uh, we've been traveling through very rough years and we've experienced moments that we never dreamed of. And I think especially parents, our generation, and a little bit you, are trying to regain lost time. And one thing that I wish is that we all stop pursuing lost time because we're not going to get this these years back. So we need to stop a little bit, look at our present, feel the present, live today, and be grateful for today. And try to take it easy. I know that we don't live and, and we're not traveling in the same ship but we are all in the same storm. So please do breathe and try to appreciate each moment and each moment with your family from now on has to have a different meaning. Please do that for 2023. That was lovely. <laughs> that was lovely. And so, of course, we want to know who is your star? <laughs> yeah, mine are easy. My, uh, my kids are my stars. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to say that my star, and I will miss this star once I leave, is the Clips community. So, yeah, that's my star.
That was great, thank you. Before you go, as you saw with the head girl and the head boy, I was wondering if you could help me with the magic too. Okay, so on the count of three. One, two, three. Pretty amazing. <laughs> thank you so much thank for joining you. us. Thank you for your amazing job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Now, we want to introduce a new activity for everyone at hu uh, uh, here and at home, which is we have some voting to do. Uh, I think it's going to appear here on the screens. And I don't even know the questions of the, uh, the <laughs> poll, so let's see. Don't say that. I, I don't. So let's see what, what appears, if something appears. <laughs> Oh, oh, they're pissing us against <laughs> each other. I think it's not <laughs> us against No, I meant the other hosts. So I'm not sure if you all remember the other hosts, because they're not a go as good as us, but they're Mila and Mr. Weeks, and... Mr. Fernandes and Miss Fernandes. <laughs> Miss Souza. Miss Souza, of course, sorry. <laughs> so... Please you vote. have time to vote. After some performances, we'll come back and see the results and we'll mm -hmm. show to all of you. But for now, we have some moments to introduce to you. We'll be gone for some time. Firstly, I'd like to introduce Maria do Mar Malafaia singing Almost There from Princess and the Frog. Then we have a video by the Clippers in Motion, which will be followed by a Rise Up by Middle School and Upper School. So please, everyone, give a warm welcome to Maria do Mar.
the sense of satisfaction and gratification that I get from volunteering and from helping others is immense and I really couldn't think of any other way other than becoming the leader of Clippers in Motion to fulfill this. I wanted to do something that was way out of my comfort zone and this was the perfect way to do it. Given that I've seen the work that previous leaders have done before and how well they've taken this role, I've decided to try to help those people as much as I can. And I think this would be a good opportunity for me to help others and make sure that everyone is, that is involved is genuinely interested and likes to care for others. This project is basically the chance for Ukrainian people who happen to be in Portugal right now and who are creating some art to uh, spread gratitude and warmth of Christmas. Uh, it's also about Ukrainian values uh, like strength and care in our community and also about joy. I know it's uh, quite hard to imagine right now that we are still uh, having some joy, but uh, we are. People are really caring, so we felt like it's a perfect environment to spread this. The Salvation Army works a lot with the community, so our vision is usually about meeting the needs of the community and finding the resources within the community to meet those needs. This is really important and it makes an impact on people, so I like to make sure that the people that are working with us genuinely care. O clip divide as, uh, divide as nossas famílias por turmas e a cada turma ela atribui uma família que nós lhe damos. Então todas as turmas são super, super, eu nem tenho palavras para dizer, porque eles dão-nos tudo, tudo, tudo. Tão carinhosos connosco, tão generosos, que nós quase que nos sentimos parte deles. Por isso, muito obrigada a toda a comunidade do Polito. A nossa visão é, acima de tudo, combater a pobreza. Antes estávamos em Moçambique, agora também estamos na Guiné. Só dos mais variados aspectos, mas essencialmente através da promoção da educação, que é fundamental para mudar o mundo. Há muito mais trabalho envolvido do que a maioria das pessoas estão aware. However, it's been immensely gratifying, and so I do not regret it. Um dos nossos esposos, um dos nossos padrinhos do Cupula, que é o centro de educação que nós temos em Moçambique, e que desde então só funciona por causa da parceria com o CLIP, e já são mais de 200 alunos que apoiamos em, em Moçambique juntos. Hoje o Christmas Bazaar está a ser uma surpresa. É uma alegria mesmo, penso assim, é contagiante, são muitas pessoas. It's very important for us to continue this uh, movement of solidarity. Our vision is to construct uh, a better world. Uh, we then psychosocial support and um, emergency, uh, food emergency support. We at this moment have 60 cats on our care. These cats have a very specific personality and they like the, their, their house very clean. So we have constant uh, medical care. All Sundays we have open days where people can come and see our cats and propose themselves for adoption. We also have a lot of volunteers. Uh, I'm one of them. I've, I'm an alumni from FIP. So yes, so I studied here from reception to form nine. Uh. Clippers in Motion definitely changed my perspective on life in terms of me becoming more aware of how many people are in need of help and also change my perspective in terms of what I want to accomplish in my life and helping others is definitely one of my priorities. Skills such as communication, persuasion, public speaking, uh, team playing, leadership were all very key uh, on my success. Sim truly changed my perspective on life because it made me a much more reflective and grateful person overall. If there are a lot of clippers in motion, a lot of organizations, a lot of institutions that work towards eradicating poverty and hunger, gen uh, working towards gender equality, sustainability and climate change, then the future generations will live a much happier life and with much greater quality of life. I just really enjoyed volunteering and the community of members that I found there. But being the leader was never really my goal. It was just the culmination of years of working to sustain what I saw as one of the most important organizations within CLIP. Clippers in Motion for me was always about helping others in any way possible and right now I'm um, taking psychology in university to do that, to help other people. I already noticed that Clippers in Motion helped me in some aspects such as organization, communication and stop procrastinating because 
as a Clipper Emotion leader, you have to be very organized, communicate with others, and get things done. So that was really helpful. expectations they just lead to damnation that's why we seize the moment we try to freeze it and own it control it but to do that first we must forgive the ones that stole because before before we do it before we do it all before we fix our problems we have to consider the ones currently at stake so let's gather all around the girls and boys make some noise and rise
Well, that was amazing. Now, I have some news for you. The results of the polls have been submitted. Gabby has in her hand the results of the envelopes. And now I pass the baton to you. Can we have a drum roll, please? Stavingo. OK. And the winners are Mr. Fernandes and Miss Souza. <laughs> we are not upset at all. <sighs> okay, moving on. We have some comments from the people at home. Should I start? Okay. This, we don't have a name from who it was, but well done, lower school. Fantastic form for A. From the Maria UK and Joanna, it says, Love, hope, and joy. Elder Ribeiro says, Days but that voice, a star is born. And from Joan, we have. Miss Gird and Miss Shavs are my stars. Aww. Aww. Miss Shav and Miss Gedge, because you are Joan's star, why don't you come up here and have a talk with us? Hello, you both look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, I'm not sure if everyone knows, but this segment is usually called Who We Are as a Community. So, who are we? Ms. Chav. <laughs> First of all, <coughs> thank you, Joel. <laughs> I think it's important to say this. Uh, who we are is um, who we are. Uh, I guess that we are a family, aren't we? Um, we are a family of students, teachers, uh, parents, staff, um, we are a family that is very uh, proud of its origins, the way it all started. Uh, but we also embrace the newcomers. We make sure that everybody that joins us uh, feels happy, safe and loved. Uh, and that is something that we believe it's very important because the sense and the spirit of belonging is absolutely fundamental and one of the roots of our, uh, of our school. We're also an international uh, community, right? Therefore, uh, very rich in terms of diversity. And uh, we do uh, try as much as possible uh, also to look uh, for each individual. Although diverse, um, we also care um, you know, about our each individual uh, student, parent, or any member of our community. We try to, we do worry and we, we, we make sure that uh, our, the members of our communities and the students in particular, that they uh, learn to respect diversity, um, to understand the importance of dialogue and to respect uh, our ethics code of conduct as well. <laughs> That's brilliant. Uh, <laughs> over the past few years, how have you seen our community change? Okay, I am a dinosaur, okay? <laughs> so it means that I have started at Castel do Queijo and I have followed the, the changes in the school. Uh, we are much bigger than we used to be. Uh, but I can tell you, after being here since 1994, I think, that the spirit of, um, 
you know, being a family, as Ms. Charles was saying, caring for each other, despite the bigger numbers, despite the diversity that Ms. Charles mentioned, I think that we keep that spirit still. And um, I have to say that it's very touching um, to see former students who come and visit us, to help us, and some of them are here today. And it's also very touching, for example, when you get an invitation to a wedding or you get photos from the baby. So it clearly shows that we are a family. And you said that, of course, there has been past many years clip. Um, but what core values do you think that should not change during years? Well, I believe that uh, we should continue having as a foundation the well-being, right? And um, I could, I could, we do, we do try to prepare our students to to embrace and to 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 to, to face uh, all the changes that that life brings because life changes by the minute. Uh, I could give you a variety, or, you know, a good number of values that we have in our school, uh, such as adaptability, leadership, resilience, etc. However, uh, we have decided that for the, um, the, the until 2024, we were going to focus mostly um, on three main values, which are kindness, respect, and inclusivity. Uh, that is, ex those are very, very important values. All the others are equally important, obviously, but those are very important because we want to nurture global citizens um, that uh, are proud of who they are, but they are also very proud of those that surround them. And, um, oh, that's you. Yes, it is me. Um, so, as we asked everyone else, who is your star? Can go. <laughs> okay, I can go first. Um, I have to be honest with you when we know ifs and buts, my star is my mom. Uh, she's my, she is in fact, she's my hero. Um, she's a wonderful human being. Uh, she's very kind. Uh, she's very, very intelligent. Um, she knows everything. I still, nowadays, sometimes I call her to ask for lots of different things and she knows everything. She has all the answers. Um, I, I, I grew up following her um, and I'm trying, she's, she's always very happy. She loves a good laugh, just like me. And um, uh, she enjoys life to the limit, uh, although she's 85 now, but she's still like that. And um, I'm trying my best to, to follow her and to be like her, but I'm afraid I will never be a star as she is, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best. My turn? Yes. <laughs> okay. So, first of all, I will use some words to define that person. So, kind, very kind, always there for me, highly principled, my strong moral compass, calm, caring, uh, willing to listen to others and to meet halfway, crazy as well, <laughs> creative and rebel, sometimes naughty. So my rock, my star, my twin sister, Mrs. Morgat. <laughs> what advice would you give to us or anyone really to rise to the stars? Okay, I think the only advice I can give you is that you should always aim high as high as you can, because at the end of the day, you will succeed. Well, I would say that you should never lose hope, uh, because um, in one way or another, you will rise and you will get and you will reach your star. Uh, there might, there will be different choices throughout life, uh, you might choose one road or the other. You might come back and start all over again. But at the end of the day, 
I truly believe that you have reached your star when you um, enjoy um, when you enjoy what you're doing. That is definitely when you reach your star. Okay. Now, as we've seen, Gabby has a wonderful power with the tree. But I said, Gabby, it's not you anymore. I want to try as well, and I want to see if I have the power to light up the tree. So I'm counting with your help. I don't know a lot how Gabby did this, but let's try us three without Gabby. One, two, three. It worked. It did work, indeed. Well done. Thank you. Thank you for your help, Ms. Geds and Ms. Shavs, and you can go back to your seat. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Much. <laughs> so I guess you do have the magic as well, then. I do, and as you see, I'm not a cringe. We'll see. Now, I'd like to use my powers and introduce uh, the From A Poems and the I Have a Dream moment. Big, big round of applause, please. feel a single thing. Have they pills in too much? I've been caught up with my friends and we can now wear our such. I've been driving in LA and the world feels too big. Like a floating ball that's bound to break, break snap my sack like a tree. And I just want to see if you feel the same as me. Do you ever get a little bit tired of life? Like you're not really happy but you don't want to die? Like you hang by a thread but you gotta survive? Cause, Cause you, you gotta, gotta survive. survive. Like your body's in the room, but you're not really there. Like you have empathy inside, but you don't really care. Like you're fresh out of love, but it's been in the air. I might pass your pair. A little bit tired of trying to care when I don't. A little bit tired of quicker pace to cope. A little bit tired of sinking. There's water in my boats. I'm barely breathing, trying to stay afloat. So I got this quicker pace to cope. Guess I'm just broken and broke. The prescription on its way with a name I can't pronounce. And the dose I gotta take, boy, I wish that I could count. And I just wanna see if this could make me happy. Do you ever get a little bit tired of life? Like you're not really happy, but you don't wanna die. Like you're hanging by a thread, but you gotta survive. Cause, Cause you, you gotta, gotta survive. survive. Like your body's in the room, but you're not really there. Like you have empathy inside, but you don't really care. Like you're fresh out of love, but it's been in the air. It might pass your pair. A little bit tired of trying to care when I don't. A little bit tired of quick repairs to cope. A little bit tired of sinking. This one on my boat. I'm barely breathing, trying to stay afloat. Do you ever get a little bit tired of life? Like you're not really happy, but you don't want to die. Like a numb little, little bug that's got to survive. Because it's got to survive. I want to be your vacuum cleaner, breathing in your dust. I want to be your Ford Cortina. I will never rust. Rust, if you like your coffee hot, let me be your coffee pop. You call the shots, babe. I just want to be yours. Secrets I have fell in my heart are harder to find than I thought. Maybe I just want to be yours. I, I want to be, be yours. yours. I, I want to be, be yours. yours. I want to be your lucky meter. I will never run out. I want to be your portable heater. But you'll get cold without. I want to be your setting lotion. Hold your hair in deep devotion. I'll, I'll be, be at, at least, least as deep, deep as, as the Pacific, Pacific Ocean. Ocean. I want to be yours. Secrets I have felt in my heart are harder to hide than I thought. Maybe I just want to be yours. I, I want to be yours. yours. I want to be yours. yours. I want to be your vacuum cleaner. I want to be yours. yours. Breathing in your dust. I want to be, be yours. yours. want to be your Ford Cortina. I want to be yours. I will I'll never rest. rest. Don't you know what it's like? Your blood like winter freezes just like ice. And there's a cold, lonely light that shines from you. You'll wind up like that wreck you hide behind that mask you use. Did you think this fool could never win? Well, look at me. I'm, I'm coming, coming back, back again. again. I got a taste of love in a simple way. And if you need to know while I'm still standing, you, you just, just fade away. Don't you know that I'm still standing? Better than I ever did. Looking like a true survivor. Feeling like a little kid. I'm still standing. After all this time, picking up the pieces of my life without you on my mind. I'm still standing. I'm still standing. Once I never could have hoped to win. You're starting down the road, leaving me again. 
The threats you made were meant to cut me down, and if our love was just a circus, you'd be a clown by now. You know that I'm still standing, better than I ever did. Looking like a true survivor, feeling like a little kid. I'm still standing, after all this time. Picking up the pieces of my life without you on my mind. I'm still standing. I'm still standing. So, I never really knew you. God, I really tried to. Blindsided. Addicted. Thought we could really do this. But really, I was foolish. Hindsight. It's obvious. Talking with my lawyer, she said, Where'd you find this guy? I said, Young yeah, people fall in love with the wrong people sometimes. Some, Some mistakes, mistakes get made. made. That's alright. That's okay. You can think that you're in love when you're really just in pain. Some, Some mistakes, mistakes get made. made. That's alright. That's okay. In the end, it's better for me. That's the moral of this story. It's funny how a memory turns into a bad dream when running wild turns volatile. Remember how we painted our house? Just like our grandparents did. So romantic, but we fought the whole time. Should have seen the signs. Yeah. Talking with my mother, she said, Where'd you find this guy? I said, Yeah, and people fall in love with the wrong people sometimes. Some, Some mistakes, mistakes get made. made. That's all right. That's okay. You can think that you're in love when you're really just in pain. Some, Some mistakes, mistakes get made. made. That's all right. That's okay. In the end, it's better for me. That's the moral of this story. I say to you today, my friends, and so even though we face the challenges of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. I have a dream that one day we will rise up and live out the true meaning of the creed that we are all created equal. I have a dream that my family will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, gender, creed, or sexual orientation, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. My dream is that our human rights were applied worldwide. I have a dream. That one day, children all over the world can, can have, can will have access to education. And that they can live and study in freedom and in peace. I have a dream to renew the core values the, the world once had, such as respect, honesty, and harmony. I have a dream that our kids will continue to expand their horizon while living and learning from other cultures and traditions. May they prosper in a clean, healthy globe and enjoy all that our wonderful world has to offer. I have a dream that we will all live more sustainable lives and take better care of planet Earth. Meu sonho é viver, viver para que possa ver os meus netinhos realizar os seus sonhos. I have a dream that in these times of fear, uncertainty and conflict, we can all set our differences aside and come together to fight for a better future. I have a dream that someday the word tolerance will be replaced by the word acceptance.
acceptance. I say this as an alumnus clip, okay? And as a brother, a son, an artist, a teacher, a husband, and maybe someday as a father. I do not dream of tolerance for my students or for your children. I dream that they will be accepted for who they are. That is the gift that Clip gave to me by opening my horizons to different cultures, beliefs, and ways of life. The gift of believing that here in this very school, as a community, we are bravely building the pathway for a better tomorrow. I have a dream that this generation will keep true to the human values, family, respect, integrity, today and the, the rest of our, our lives. This was indeed a wonderful moment. No, no, look, the star, it's lit. Yes, it's very, very nice. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Okay, Gabby, no. It's almost like we're walking in a winter wonderland. Yeah, you have to stop, Gabby. This reminds me of last Christmas. feels like it's never ending. No, no. Why don't we go rocking around that Christmas tree, eh? Okay, you know what? Band, play it. Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hall. Mistletoe hung where you can see every couple tries to stop. Rocking around the Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit ring. Later we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some caroling. I want a big, big round of applause for the whole band, please. In the keyboards, Dan McAllister. And Anna Farinha. My love, my incredible, Rafael Stuvinho. On the guitar, Artur Morandi. On the bass, and Eve Shoto. And of course, let's not forget our little drummer boys, Teixeira and David. But band, I was feeling we could hype it up a little bit, don't you think? I am sure we should hype it up. And I think we should get some help from our friends. Yes.
dancing in Jingle Bell Square in the frosty air. What a bright time, it's the bright time to rock the night away. Jingle Bell is time, it's a swell time. Let's yeah, go riding in a one horse sleigh. Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet. Jingle around the clock. Mix and a mingle in the jingle of feet. That's the Jingle Bell around. Well, wasn't that amazing? <laughs> so, we have got some pictures to show you from those who are watching at home, which should be appearing on the screen very soon. At any moment. Well, that's it for the pictures. That is, that's it. But we have got some comments. Yes, we do. This one is from Love from Pakistan. I love Hope and Joy, and I've been watching online since the first. This one says, My star is my fellow head girl, Sarah Gonzalez. Never fails to put a smile on my face. From Sofia Valerino. We also have one. Okay, yeah. Rafael Stavino is an amazing grin player. He is, he is. <laughs> okay, maybe we could go back to the Chris Cam. Yes, absolutely. Pedro and Irene, are you ready? Who wants to appear on the Chris Cam? Do some noise. In some moments, the Chris Cam should be showing up. We seem to have lost Pedro and Irene. Everybody, just <laughs> call for Pedro and Irene. <laughs> okay, for now, they are not here. No worries. So, no, no, there's a question I've been meaning to ask you. Who is your star? My star? Well, of course, without, uh, it goes without saying that, of course, it's my whole family, my mom and my brother. Of course, my dog as well. He's <laughs> the biggest star ever. Um, but yeah, they have endless support, endless aid. They're always there for me. And yeah, they're, of course, my biggest stars. Oh. Yeah. If my mom is not on the phone upstairs, I love you, mom. <laughs> Gabby, who's your star? My star 
probably have to be my granddad, who is the most amazing and funniest person I've ever met, and I miss him a lot. That's amazing. <laughs> However, we still want to say that Gabby and I were talking and we decided that we do have one very, very special star for this evening, which has uh, helped us a lot uh, this whole week, uh, endless support really. And do you want to share who that is? And our star is Miss Johnson. Yes, a big, big round of applause for Miss Johnson. <laughs> okay, she doesn't want to come up. I think you all know who she is. She's amazing and she's a star. Speaking of stars, up next we have the choir. After the choir you have Who's Your Star video and the combo performance.
a minha mãe porque ela cuida de mim, um, prepara a minha roupinha para o próximo dia, faz o almoço para mim. Uh, my mom. Because she's very pretty and I love my mom. Uh, she helps me studying and she is very intelligent. Pai Natal vem, vem, vem me dar presentes. E vocês nem acreditam que o Pai Natal fez. O Pai Natal deu-nos mais uma escravição. Ele disse assim, obrigado meninos, uh, portem-se bem, beijinhos do Pai Natal. My no has a star and a my grandpa's house has one and his Christmas tree. So maybe I need to buy one to two Christmas tree. One for me and one for my grandpa. My star is my mom. I feel inspired by her. She's very caring and always thinks of others before thinking of herself. I wish to be more like her and to help out to others. Maybe Elon Musk, because he is like always trying what others don't try. I respect it. The most important inspiration in my life, definitely Mary Mirzakhani comes to my mind, who was Iranian mathematician and also professor of mathematics at Stanford University. I know it's an overstatement to say that I want to be exactly like her, but uh, my most important goal in future is uh, to try and push all the first effort to become someone similar to her and have such an important effect on my field, hopefully medicine in future. Mr. Wright, he was very memorable. We used to have this impression of him, of a really strict teacher, but he was such a gentleman with us, he treated really well. You guys tell me about Miss Esper. Eu gosto de brincar. Probably my mom, because she does a lot of things for me. She takes care of me, and so does my dad. Eu amo estrelas, a mãe. A minha mãe, toda a minha família é uma estrela. A mãe. O que é que a mamãe também faz que tu gostas muito que ela faça? Hum, que é My mother. They have this magic. They can be a doctor, they can be a vet, they can be a housekeeper, they can be anything. I've always like, really admired my aunt, because she's always been kind of like, I always look up to her. I really love how she's so independent, and she doesn't really like depend on anyone else, and she's really hardworking, you know? She makes like a really great life for herself. And my dad, for sure. He started from like not a lot, you know, and he really built a great life for himself and his family. It's my mom. It's because my mom is all the time giving me things. My brother is in India and he's doing his hotel management okay. course. He is like supportive. Um, I really like to spend time with him as he like tells me all the new stuff he did and we're kind of close. I'm kind of going to make him jealous of all this, I guess. Yeah, Isabella, my colleague and me. Ela é muito corajosa, é muito, é muito carinhosa comigo e gosto muito dela. This is my first year being in Clip and uh, being a Clipper. And uh, this is a completely new uh, experience to me, having new friends from all over the world and that was a very good experience for me. Actually in Iran we have our own holiday and uh, so actually our own uh, New Year. So Christmas this year is a completely new thing to me. I like united each other with my friends, so I, I think that we have to celebrate this. I joined Clip when I was four years old, 2009, being like always happy and having good humor because Clip is all about a family, we are one, and it really brings that spirit. Hi Nathan, oh, I love you and I want to meet you as soon as possible. Hope and joy. Esperança e alegria. Uh, hope and joy. Esperança e felicidade. Hope and joy. Hope and joy. Esperança e alegria. Hope and joy. Esperança e felicidade. Hope and joy. Dá um dia bom, com feliz Natal e com neve. Mama, dá um pancake.
So it's time to wrap up everything. Gabby and I want to thank all of you for being an amazing audience. But before we do that, we have one more comment from those at home, which reads, Merry Christmas from ex Porter resident, now in Costa Rica. What a wonderful celebration of clip talent at this wonderful Christmas time. How lovely. <laughs> So once again, thank you, Cliff, for uh, giving Gabby and I this opportunity of hosting uh, Hope and Joy. Thank all of you for being an incredible audience. And um, yeah. This is a night we'll never forget, and I hope you don't either. <laughs> thank you so much. Now, oh. <laughs> now we'd like to invite on up Isabel Morgado and Dr. Francisco. Boa tarde. Infelizmente este ano não é possível estar presente aí entre vós. Assim, desejo a todos vós, alunos, professores, funcionários e todos e pais e familiares um excelente Natal e um 2023 cheio de sucesso. Boa tarde. Infelizmente este ano não é possível estar presente aí entre vós. Assim, desejo a todos vós, alunos, professores, funcionários e todos e pais e familiares um excelente Natal e um 2023 cheio de sucesso. Ok, eu só quero dizer que é um honor e um honor e um privilégio ser parte desta família. Vocês são todos os stars. Merry Christmas e um Happy New Year! Enjoy your holidays, enjoy every minute within the spirit of the season and see you in 2023. So could everyone stand to sing the school song, We Are One Please?
gentlemen, put it together for the band. Right, we have a special surprise for you as you're going. Um, we have our combo here, they're going to play a bit of groove for you for Miles Davis to play you out. So just give us one or two seconds and we'll be there. We've got a problem. No, I'll no, I'll lose your key. on the piano! Thank you. 
Sonic is And that's the end. Woo! Stand up.